Hello, uh, welcome to another video here at Ritual Awesome Pianos. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be comparing two of the most popular uh, large upright pianos in the world. So that's the Yamaha U3 and the Yamaha YUS3. Uh, so this is um, U3, and um, these have been around for several decades, um, since the early 60s. And um, they're found uh, in people's homes, uh, in uh, music schools, practice rooms, um, and even music studios. It's a real uh, staple uh, of the Yamaha um, upright range. Um, both the U3 and the YRS3 are 131 centimeters in height, so as I say, they are uh, largest uh, models in, in the Yamaha range. So with that, you've got very long strings, uh, large soundboard, and a uh, very large cabinet, so the sound can resonate very fully. So we're getting a very rich and colorful uh, tonal quality in both cases. Um, however, there are a few things that uh, do separate the YRS3 uh, from the U3 and uh, do make it a piano that's um, aimed at uh, perhaps more discerning pianist. Uh, so this is the Yamaha uh, YRS3. Uh, so this model came out uh, about a decade ago and uh, since then uh, it's become increasingly popular and um, has offered uh, a very viable alternative uh, to the U3. Um, as I said before, um, it is a piano that's aimed at a uh, pianist who perhaps require a wider expressive range, uh, a bit more colour uh, to the sound. It has the same action as the U3. Um, it's the uh, same height, 131 centimetres. Uh, again, built in a Japan uh, Hamamatsu factory. Uh, one of the key differences between the two models then uh, is in the hammers. So with the YRS3, uh, the core of the hammer is made of mahogany, whereas that of uh, the U3 uh, is made of beech. Uh, mahogany is a harder wood, uh, so firstly that's uh, going to be more durable, it's going to have a better longevity, um, but also you, it gives you a, a more powerful sound, a much fuller, richer sound um, all round. Now that, that could mean that the uh, sound um, it's harsher, but that isn't the case with the YRS3 uh, because the actual hammer felt is better quality as well. So the felt of the um, hammers on the YRS3 is actually the same as um, is used on the CFX, so the Yamaha Concert Grand. Uh, so that's using really um, high quality premium grade uh, wool. So that's a very um, elastic quality, first of all, so it can be voiced um, very accurately. Um, but also, uh, you're getting a kind of sweeter uh, sound with that because of, you know, the wool is a little bit softer. Um, so yeah, just a much more beautiful sound all round. Another difference is in the uh, bass section. Um, so um, as with all pianos, the uh, bass strings are wound with uh, copper uh, to make them thicker. Um, with the U3, um, as with uh, most other kind of um, medium range uh, pianos, uh, the bass strings are uh, copper wound by machine, uh, whereas with the YRS3, uh, they copper wound by hand. Um, that does make a huge difference to the uh, quality of the um, sound in the bass section, so it's far rounder, um, you've got much more depth in there, uh, you don't have a kind of metallic sort of clanging uh, quality, which you can have to a certain extent with U3, uh, it's a much cleaner sound. In terms of its um, external appearance, uh, the YRS3 um, has a much uh, nice, more elegant uh, cabinet. So the cabinet's actually hand finished uh, in the case of the YRS3. Uh, so the uh, corners and the edges and so on are far smoother, or rounder. So it just looks more, uh, more beautiful. Um, but an important difference um, in relation to the sound is in the uh, bottom panel here. Um, so the gap at the top of the bottom panel is uh, quite a lot bigger uh, than you get with the U3, so the sound is able to come through there. So we're getting a much more open, uh, more immediate sound uh, with this piano. So with all of those differences combined, so the uh, quite of the hammers, the hammer felt, uh, the bass strings, and the cabinet, uh, particularly the bottom panel, um, the YRS3 um, just has um, a far more refined uh, sound when compared to the U3, so they both benefit from being uh, tall pianos, being 131 centimeters in height, but it's the YRS3 that uh, fully benefits from that. Um, so starting with the bass section, so as I said before, um, yeah, much more depth, uh, much more of a, a cleaner and fuller sound uh, in that area. The middle section, uh, you've got much better sustain, it's more singing, more open uh, sounding. And then the treble and high treble section, um, amazing clarity as you have with the U3, um, but without any sort of metallic overtones at all. So much cleaner, um, more brilliant, uh, more rounded without being uh, sort of glassy um, in sound. 
So overall, um, yeah, a piano that's capable of, of, of much more expression, much more colour, has a much wider tonal palette uh, than is uh, really possible with the U3. Uh, like I said before, they both have this amazing uh, Japanese built action, um, but it's really the Wireless 3 uh, that stands out, uh, particularly for those pianists who um, are perhaps working at a higher, uh, more advanced level of playing and uh, need a piano that responds uh, to all the nuances um, of their touch. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Um, if you'd like any more information about um, either these models, the U3 or the Wireless 3, or indeed about any of our pianos, uh, then you can go to our website. All of our contact information is on there. And the website address is richardlawsonpianos.com. Um, you can also arrange to make an appointment and try these pianos uh, for yourself.